here we are with Jujutsu Kaisen episode 18. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say, let's get to the episode. Nani? Or Megumi and the other good dude fighting in the building? Interesting. They were outside, now they are in a building. <laughs> Ooh. Homing arrows. I mean, how many arrows does he have? He has one more arrow. <laughs> oh. Another major clan, okay. He's from the same family? I have to rewatch that part where he talks about what it does. I missed that a bit. Yeah, I guess this would be really good for Maki, who's very physical based, right? And if she would get something like steroids or doping that would make her even stronger, that would be crazy. But yeah, I missed that part where he talked about what it does the ability a bit. I, I mean, I read it, but I couldn't really comprehend it. I don't know. So yeah, I, I'm wondering if he is from, from the same family. He said Zanon family again, <clears throat> like Maki and... But I mean, maybe the Zanons are just like the three big families or whatever. I don't know. And I mean, he I feel like he doesn't really look like them, but I mean, he doesn't necessarily have to. But since he said that Maki or Mai should have inherited it, I guess they are from the same family. Interesting that there are maybe like three from the same family. Fighting basically against each other. <laughs> Sage. In shock. <laughs> I guess she gave up. I got fucked.
Nani? Oh, he got his fo Oh, oh my god. That's so smart. <laughs> Good doggo. Who is this? Oh, <clears throat> they manipulate the whole thing, these assholes. Is this Itadori's blood? Yep. Motherfuckers. This motherfucker playing dirty the whole fucking time. <clears throat> Oh, something even worse came around. Guess they didn't plan this. Who is this in the back? New one. Well, maybe we don't see the fight against Toto with Itadori because they get interrupted. Because you're a dumb asshole. No more weapons. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to say it's impressive that he holds his own in close combat when the other guy is doped. Mm-hmm. I guess both.
<laughs> oh, he's also from one of the the three big families. Dude, who isn't from one of the three big families? <laughs> Oh, it's tea time. Rabbit. It's a fake. Oh, what is it? Elephant? Not what I expected. It's a big boy. <laughs> mhm. Mm <laughs> I can do it. Oh, the electric bird and he's wet. Blood pack. Dang. How many blood packs can he carry? I guess we have other problems right now, dude. Everything is destroyed at once. All red. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> you like smoking him? Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> What can he do? Oh, is this maybe like a barrier that they can't get outside that surrounds this whole thing?
When the bar is awake again? So they are basically outside and the others are inside. But can he do it? It's an anti-Gojo barrier. <laughs> <laughs> so what can the old guy do I would imagine he should be somewhat strong if he's one of the highest Oh, wait, what? What the fuck? <laughs> What is this, dude? Dude, this comes out of nowhere. He just grabs the guitar. <laughs> so he's the last in the intro. Yeah, mm -hmm. Tuna Mayo, of course, dude. I guess that's not enough. Another blood pack. That's nothing. <laughs> In his ass.
What is underneath this? End. Jiu-jitsu stroll, let's go. What will we see this time? What the fuck? Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, um, I rewatched the beginning where I missed what he meant when he said he wished that Maki or May had inherited it. He wasn't talking about himself. I misunderstood it. He was talking about Megumi's ability to summon those uh shadow animal curses, beasts, whatever, where he uses his shadows for and he can summon 10 of them apparently. So that's what he wished uh, Maki or may have gotten, <clears throat> um, but they didn't. And so, yeah, but I mean, his technique with the blood, which is like doping, I would say if Maki would get that, like I said, that would be pretty strong for her because she is already super strong. Um, And then, yeah, um, the bad guys come in again and want to fuck shit up made a barrier that keeps Gojo out. I guess <clears throat> I thought the guy that nailed the thing in the ground made the barrier and then he's surprised that Gojo isn't here. So I guess the nail is what makes a barrier, right? And they maybe told him to nail that thing into the ground and if he does that then Gojo comes because it seems like he wants to fight Gojo. Um, but so they lied to him and he just did what he got told, but it didn't come from him, from him, from him. Um, so I guess the the nail was the cursed object that made the barrier, and they prepared it, and he just put it into the ground, right? Um, and yeah, the old dude <laughs> getting an e guitar, a guitar that was <laughs> way out of left field. I I would have never seen that coming. I'm interested to see what he can do with it, right? Seems very unique, seems very interesting and weird. I want to see what he can do with it. Like I said, I, I think he should be strong if he is like one of the top guys, right? So there should be skills to back it up, right? So, and I mean, old guys in animes are often very strong, so I want to see what he can do. And so, yeah, now, yeah, obviously the bad guys attack. I want to see what this weird tree thing he has under the cloth on the shoulder he touched it a bit so i wonder what is underneath something that comes to mind is maybe there's like a body underneath it or a face or something that would be kind of weird and creepy um so yeah will be interesting to see so this tree thingy basically wants the best for the world it seems like for like the forest the seas the skies and all that stuff I mean, it's basically cursed spirits, right? 
they said. So we have this one that is basically all nature. Then we have the other one with the with the fire and all that shit. Um. So yeah, I guess they are pretty much based on nature, right? So yeah, we'll be interesting to see what happens next episode. How that will turn out. And I mean, <clears throat> maybe Gojo, uh, not Gojo, maybe Toto can go all out. I want to see how what Toto can do. Because he can do the clapping, right? Where he claps and switches positions. So I want to see what he can do. We never seen him go all out or something. Or we never see what he can do. What kind, what time of like curse techniques or whatever he has, right? So interesting in that. So yeah. I would say that's the episode, right? Well, I guess there's nothing more to talk about, really. And so, yeah. If you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.